Hey, today was my last day at the Coastal Bend Health Education Center, the Diabetes Education Center for my community rotation. Um, my name is Katie Ryans. I'm a vegan dietetic intern, and I have a long history of being really frustrated in undergrad. I went to Purdue, which is in the Midwest, meat and GMO central. Um, I've been used to being really frustrated being the only vegan, and... Um, this is beyond any frustration I've ever felt before. I have, I just, please listen, hear me out here. I have to sit through, I, first of all, I, you, if you know my history, I know lots of people who have reversed their diabetes. I work at a raw vegan cafe in Beverly, <laughs> and people who eat lots of fruits and vegetables they don't have diabetes. And when I'm sitting there in those educational, they have these, like, it's an education center. These people go there to learn how to eat, how to deal with their diabetes. And they're telling them that this disease is never going to go away. They're taught that this is a progressive disease. It's only going to get worse. And the only thing you can do is just try to control it. Okay? You can manage it on your own without medications, but it's never going to go away. And being in the back of the room, me listening to that is so heartbreaking. And I feel like it, I'm doing, I don't know, I feel like it should be illegal for me to just sit there and not say, excuse me, this is reversible. Like, you don't need to be checking your blood sugars all the time if you just switch to a plant-based diet. And watch Forks Over Knives. Look up Dr. John McDougall. Look up Dr. Neil Barnard. Look up registered dietitian Brenda Davis. These people are saving the world and reversing diabetes left and right, and you're here telling these people that they're going to have their diabetes for the rest of their lives. Like, ugh. Just to clarify, this is type 2 diabetes I'm talking about, but honestly, it was a really great experience. I was able to do follow-ups on people. I was really comfortable by the end. I did a couple of clients all on my own. I checked their blood sugars. I measured their weight, height, BMI, blah, blah, blah. I made meal plans for people, um, calculated how many calories they needed, how many carbs they needed, how many carb servings in a day they needed. Um, and I was able to counsel them a little bit saying, oh, you know, are you checking your blood sugars? Are you having any lows? And I feel really confident now that I would be able to um, work well in a community setting. I really enjoyed it. I liked the setting in general. Um, it was really cool just the way it was all set up, but the system is so, like, <laughs> behind the times is an understatement. I'm like, have you not, or do you not understand this, what is going on? And what's, it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. I can't even begin to explain, like, how frustrating it is for me to see these poor people, like, just in this merry-go-round of awful like it's just a business it really is just a business like I I just ugh, I'm so frustrated and if anybody out there um please like your support means so much I don't you have no idea how much Bananiac you're awesome Robin Sweet Sugar Crumble like please follow these people these people are credible like people on YouTube and it makes me nervous saying this stuff on YouTube you know like our code of ethics if we're in the dietetics profession we have to follow the guidelines and it's really um, I need to be evidence based and right now the American Diabetes Association apparently according to the registered dietitian I was working for says that type 2 diabetes is a progressive disease and there is no cure and she and we're not allowed to say otherwise and um, I don't know I'm honestly concerned about being so open on YouTube sometimes but it's out there and it makes me feel a lot better to say like I can't just keep all of this information bottled up. If you can heal yourself, I'm going to tell you, you, you are able to heal yourself. <sighs> so, yeah, like, us three, Bananiac, Robin Sweet Sugar Crumble, any other student studying dietetics or pursuing nutrition um, is going to be a lot more credible, more evidence-based on YouTube, of course. Like, anything I say, I really hope that you look up yourself and... Um, take everything with a grain of salt. <laughs> I'm just saying that um, as a dietetic student studying nutrition and now like I'm really becoming a professional in this, like I'm an intern, um, 
it's kind of unprofessional of me to be talking about my opinions and my past and the way I think it is, even though um, these aren't the guidelines yet. And I feel that um, I need to, like, voice that and say, like, everything that we hear on YouTube, and even in the professional setting, people are going to put their own clinical judgment on things. And, um, yeah, I'm just, like, it's, it's the whole thing is just frustrating. So I just need to put everything out in the open, and I hope that the truth is revealed in the guidelines. Like, what the heck? So... Right now, the scientific report of the Dietary Guidelines for 2015 is pushing a plant-based diet anyways, so I'm honestly not even that worried about it, but uh, I just hope everything speeds up, and I hope somebody out there feels my frustration and we're able to connect and bond about it, because I feel kind of alone and frustrated and, like, uh, I wish I could go to Woodstock and, like, hug somebody and have everybody understand what I'm talking about. So anyways, I hope you have a wonderful life and I hope this video um, made you feel like you're not alone in this frustration of vegan um, superheroing. <laughs> Much love to you. Contact me, give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think and um, yeah. Bye.